Welcome back everyone. You might be in a position where your iPhone for some reason says either the iPhone is disabled or connect to iTunes or whatever the case is. Now there's a lot of different ways to go about fixing this and I take that back because there's really only one way you have to connect it to iTunes but the reason this even happens to begin with is because really it just comes down to the passwords or face ID unlocks that are incorrect. So if you have six incorrect guesses, that means that your password in your iPhone is going to be locked for one minute. If it's seven, then it's five minutes. If you incorrectly guess eight minutes, then it's 15 minutes. And if you have 10 incorrect guesses, that means you have to connect your iPhone to iTunes, which is pretty crazy because this could potentially mean that a lot of your data could potentially be destroyed. So what you want to do is before you go too crazy, if you still have like a couple minutes left, so if you typed in your password incorrectly less than 10 times, then you want to make sure that you either figure out your password as fast as possible or get access to your iCloud account or figure out your password some way because that's going to be the main way that you're going to go about getting your data back. But if you don't really care about that, then what you're going to need to do is go ahead and grab your iPhone and you want to connect it straight into your computer. So if you have iTunes, if you're on Mac OS Mojave, then it'll be the files app and you pretty much just want to enter recovery mode on your specific iPhone. So if you already have it, if it already says that it's disabled or whatever and connect to iTunes, you can usually connect it right there or you can go and put your phone in recovery mode and I'll go ahead and leave the steps on exactly how to do that in your specific iPhones in the description below. It basically involves you holding down certain buttons of the phone and then once you are in recovery mode, which is pretty much just says connect to iTunes, your iTunes will basically be able to pick that up and it'll tell you you have an iPhone in recovery mode or whatever and it'll tell you things that you can go and steps that you can go in order to actually go and fix this. Now if you have an iCloud backup or something like that then you're set. You can just restore from that backup but if you don't have a backup then you'll have to set it up as a new iPhone but remember that with that iCloud account you will have to remember the credentials of your iCloud account from before that you had on that iPhone in order for you to go and even type in that password to begin with. So get the password for your iCloud account and then once you have iTunes up you want to click on restore iPhone and at this point you just want to hit restore. It'll give you a little bit of few prompts and from there you just go and and then essentially your iPhone will restore as new and then you'll have to go and type in your password that I stated a billion times before or into your activation lock little thing that comes up and that's really pretty much the process so if you don't even remember your password I guess it's okay because you can just go through it this way so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out more importantly than everything else I love every single one of you guys hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video Peace out till then.